Okay, guys, we need a new movie. Oh, I have a great idea. So, like at the beginning, the parents dies, and didn't you have the same great idea for the last forty movies? What? But look, I have a great way to kill them. Do you still see your psychologist? Yes. Take him away. No, but let me just kill the mother. <laughs> Hi, welcome in things that you might not know about. The why... <laughs> okay. The Walt Disney Company started in 1923. Walt Disney and his brother, Roy, produced a series of short live-action animated films collectively called the Alice Comedies. And later on, in 1928, Mickey Mouse was born, which, by the way, isn't the first original character. He is. Soon followed by Pluto, etc, etc, etc. But I'm not afraid. The Disney... You're gonna make it. Mm -hmm. In 1937, Disney's first innovative full-length animated feature, Snow White and the Seven Dwarf, was released and from there people will start to notice that Disney movies are mother free zone. What do you mean the mother is undead? Well I thought that maybe this time we could just let her live. Okay she dies. What's next? Yeah. Mm. It's already produced. You can change anymore. It was suggested that it was because of the creator's guilt over the death of his own mother in 1938. Because of the success of Snow White. <laughs> Snow White? No, who? Snow White. Because of the success of Snow White, he had bought a house for his parents. Sadly, a faulty heating system led to Flora's Disney's death. Disneyland California, so the first Disneyland ever, was built in the early 1950s, opening in 1955. And Walt, who wanted to be there as much as possible, built an apartment for him and his family above the fire department on Main Street. 1971... 1970... 70... <laughs> in 1971, Disney World Florida opened, but Walt wasn't very happy by the sight of costume character running through inappropriate lands. Sorry, Rapunzel? Well, no. I let it... No, enough! Go away! To fix that, he came up with a tunnel system that ran beneath Disney World, so actors can go and change and appear where they should. Never. Speaking of actors, there are certain rules they have to respect, like never say no. I mean, unfortunately, I don't think I can help you. Never breaking characters. Ooh. Never sitting down. And never pointing with a single finger. So much more that I don't know about. Walt Disney's favorite song was Feed the Birds from Mary Poppins. Julie Andrews, all my love for you. Don't know why I'm doing that, she's not dead. I go, I go away. According to Richard Sherman, songwriter, Walt on Friday afternoon was often stopping by the Sherman's brother's office to request a personal performance on Feed the Birds. Spotify wasn't on point at the time. Speaking of Barry Poppins, in 1944, Walt's daughters were reading a book called Mary Poppins, and they pushed him to do a movie out of it. Walt agreed, but the author, Pamela Travers, <laughs> the 
much. Let's say I advise you to watch Saving Mr. Banks. It's the complete story of how the author and Walt agreed on doing Mary Poppins. There. Daddy, do that. Yes, honey. No. Unfortunately, Walt Disney died from complication of a lung cancer the 15th of December, 1966. And no. Is not cryogenically frozen. That's a myth. His last words ever written were Kurt Russell. To these days, nobody, including Kurt himself, knows what he meant. Disney acquired Pixar in 2006 for $7.4 billion. Marvel Entertainment in 2009 for $4.24 billion. Lucasfilm in 2012 for $4.06 billion, and the world in 2000, no, just kidding, they don't have the world yet, yet, but it's pretty close, like, everything I'm watching belongs to them. So if you can find me, look to the western sky. This is on Disney. Yeah, I know, pretty close, same actress, but wrong song. Let it go, let it go, I'm one with the wind and sky, let I'm not with Disney, Disney. To finish, Bambi. also the namesake of this not officially recognized complex. People affected are very sentimental and sympathetic towards wildlife. But it's not alone. Cinderella also had a complex named after her. A person affected will basically be very dependent on men for emotional and international support. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that this isn't the message Disney wanted to deliver. Just be honest. Feel it, you know. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like, subscribe, share, uh, and anything else that you can do. Do leave a comment if you want. Uh, yeah, that's all. And don't forget, happiness is right under your nose. So smile. Take it away. We produce a ship, a sherry. But I'm not afraid, I know who I've married Foy?